know the music how, um, you know, like a palm? It's like one leaf, right? One if palm you, leaf. One palm prong? If you, if you guys... Have, I, mean, I can't like, believe you're from Cincinnati. Are you really from Kenwood? Yeah. yeah. If you look at the end, if you, if you look at the leaf margins closely, they resemble the fin of a fish. This is a fishtail palm. Okay. The early Native Americans in the area would take the fishtail palm leaves, crunch them up, and throw them in the water. Okay. Is it toxic to eat? I wouldn't. I wouldn't eat it because there's going to be to there's there's a toxin in it that does stun fi that is known to stun fish. Oh, and wow. the Native Americans in the area would take these leaves and crunch them up to activate and loosen and loosen the toxins up in the leaves. Throw the leaves in the water, and they would find that it would stun certain species of fish. Wow. Hence, the name fishtail palm. And you'll find this. Uh, in, quite ubiquitous in the South Florida here. Hmm. And it is an exotic. It's not an invasive exotic, but it's an exotic species of palm. The restrooms are right up the road, ma'am. <laughs> They're right up the road. You can use the restrooms. Okay, okay. Let's stay in focus, Jim. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We are, we're always trying to help the park visitor mm -hmm. here with, with however we can. The, um, that clamoring snake cactus, what some people call a snake cactus, is actually night blooming serious. Oh, it will bloom one night a year. One night a year and... Is it native of Florida? No, it's not. It's, it's not? not a native of Florida. However, in Hawaii, and there are several species of a night blooming cactus. So there's queen of the night, uh, night blooming serious, which this is. Um, however, in Hawaii, they actually have parties night blooming serious parties where they will set up lounge chairs, food, buffet, whatever, because it's such a great um, uh, act of nature, if you want to call it that, that you have this one uh, flower that blooms one night a year. And that gives it one chance to be fertilized and to turn into a seed and reproduce itself. And there will be actually hundreds of blossoms on that cactus. How come you guys don't try to remove it since it's not native plant? If it's if it's not native um, and it's not posing a threat to the native plants, in it other words, if it's a, if it's a non-invasive plant and it has special historical, cultural, or natural significance, we we may keep it or at least manage it and make sure it does not get out of control. Do you know what country it came from? It's a tropical species. It's a tropical species. I don't know what country it originates mm -hmm. from.